Hello and welcome back to the ancient Greek temple build. Um, so we're back. Uh, this time around, what we're going to be taking a look at is the actual uh, main temple structure. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start building this, um, the foundation for the temple. So this was pretty simple. It's a big box, about one story high, that means four blocks tall made entirely out of stone and this will serve as the base now the reason you don't want to build this on the ground level is because you want your temple to stand out uh, so if you start on the ground level it's going to be very hard to have it stand out amongst the other um, structures what we're going to start doing right now is actually laying down the framework for the temple um, and what that means is that uh, we want to outline at least um, one block in from the main platform structure. Uh, as we go through this, uh, I want to make sure that that outline is only one stair deep. But here you can see that I've made a mistake because I don't have quite the number of pillars that I want. Now, what I'm going to do for this version of the build actually is I want to do something that's small. I don't want to do something that's very big and I don't want to follow um, classical guidelines which would require you to have uh, an even number of pillars in the front. So I'm going for five pillars uh, and extending from that. So there's a little bit of creative uh, liberty going into this. Now the pillars, you want to top them with some decorative marble and eventually end up at the top part um, where I'm using inverted steps to make sort of uh, the crenellation or the top of uh, Greek style pillars. Now once that's done, you want, to run, you want to run pillars across the top, and you want to make sure that after you do that, um, you have a solid base on top. Now, I know for a lot of you that might seem like it's not correct, but actually if you look at a lot of uh, classical build buildings, um, they have this uh, upper, founda uh, upper foundation. They have this upper segment uh, past the columns, which is used to support the roof structure. Um, and it has a technical name right now I cannot remember and I couldn't be asked uh, to go look it up um, but it's part of that now for the inner parts what I'm doing is I'm using colored clay um, blocks and the reason for that is that they break up the sort of monotonous uh, nature of the temple now usually if you look at reproductions of of uh, classic uh, Greek temples, you'll find that this is where they would put um, statues and, and, and colored art uh, to bring life to their structure. Now, what we want to do with the roof is we want to make sure that the roof, in this case, will actually stand out a little bit more than it would be on sort of like a traditional Greek building. And this, again, has to do with the scale that we're aiming for and the style that we're aiming for so it's a little bit more exaggerated a little bit more pointed um, but it has to be because at this scale uh, when you build in Minecraft if you're too subtle you don't have enough detail to actually make it work so now on the corners what we're doing is and what you're seeing me do is make these tiny little uh, statuesque uh, edges which kind of look like either dog heads or horse heads uh, if you want to look at it that way but they are meant to be you know tiny statues so if you have some some other mod that actually allows you to put in uh statues with player models you can go ahead and do that um and that would look great i'm just putting those in to make sure that you have these uh details on the edges of the roof which bring um the the design together now the temple is done and um what we're ready to do now is move into the other structures of the build. Um, but we'll essentially be following the same rules that we've established for this one. Anyways, if you want to continue watching, please do so. We will be back next week with more of the build and continue to look at the progress of our ancient Greek temple. Until then, everybody, take it easy.